What up, fam? I'm sorry, I can't believe I said that. Fuck it, I said it, and I'm gonna own it. How are you tonight? I'm Darren Jones. You're watching Darren Jones Live. How are you for real? How are you? I'm checking in. It's something you should do with your friends, your family, your colleagues, your coworkers, anybody in your life. Uh, the reason why I bring it up is because later in the show we're going to be talking about, uh, well, if you're on the internet today, you probably saw trending hashtag Bell Let's Talk. That's Bell Canada's uh, mental health awareness campaign they do once a year. Uh, is it good? Is it bad? Is it just a corporation uh, going for a, a, a free advertising cash grab? Or... Is it opening a dialogue and uh, allowing people to talk about something they otherwise would not talk about? That is the discussion. That is the question. I'm going to send out uh, all my tweets and my Facebooks. We do the show 100% live, by the way, Monday through Thursday, 10 Eastern, uh, 7 Pacific. And welcome. Um, but before we get to uh, that uh, topic, the story of uh, Bell Let's Talk, uh, well, this kind of sums up the world right now. And uh, you know what? This sums up... You could you could use this for any metaphor you, you fucking want to. This could be mental health. Nobody's helping me. This could be what is going... The news is shitty these days. What is going on? All these things. Or it could just be what it is. A girl falling through ice and she has a very shitty friend who won't put her phone down and help her. Okay. If you live in a place... First of all, ice safety. Very, very, very important. Uh... <laughs> If you live in a place where you can put your feet on the ice, you got to be very careful. And I'm from Canada. I'm live in Los Angeles right now, but I'm from Canada. you got to be very careful around the ice. Okay. If you're with somebody who's with you, if you're with someone, you would think that person would help you. Not tonight, everybody. The new world order is every person for themselves, including this poor girl who's just testing out the ice and her shitty friend will not help her. But... She did get a video trending, so maybe they can share the jingle on the old YouTube. Okay, so she's doing the thing we all do in the winter. Fine. Testing the ice. Uh-oh. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, I love this video. Uh, <laughs> the ice is cracked. Now what do you do? What do you do, hotshot? What the hell do you do? One, if you're holding the camera. What kind of person are you? Let's let's get into your mindset. Are you the kind of person that puts down the phone and helps your friend? Or do you continue to record because you know it's going to be a fabulous video? I know which kind of friend I am. Okay. Now what kind of person are you? Are you the kind of person that helps your friend? Or you continue to record. <laughs> Help her! Help your friend! She's not drowning, but she's in ankle deep freezing water. Okay. Okay, so at this point, I think we all have to agree you have to help your poor friend. She goes over here and she's pretty much submerged at this point. Right there, you wouldn't help? I know what kind of person I am. I would not help. Right there. Is she? Oh, right there. She's literally under the thing. No one is helping her. What kind of person are you? Bell, let's, Bell, let's talk. What kind of person are you? Are you the person that puts down the phone? Foregoing the amazing internet video? Or do you continue to video and you're relatively confident that your friend is fine? <laughs> And do you also just laugh your ass off? <laughs> Let's watch that one more time. What kind of person are you? You don't have to answer out loud. I'm fine. Get in the chat. Get in the comments. What kind of per Are you the friend who continues to record? She's terrified. She's saying help. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but this is too funny. <laughs> and I just want to say, Payback is an absolute bitch because once the uh, the other friend's in trouble, you know what's going to happen. 
Oh, you fell on the ice? Let me help you this time. Uh, if you're just joining us, I'm Darren Jones. You're watching Darren Jones Live. Uh, this is a show we talk about politics, social issues, uh, tech, comedy. It's a comedy news show. And basically, if you're talking about it, we're talking about it. This is trending. I want to know which person are you in this? Which are you the person to put down the camera and help? Or do you continue to record knowing you're going to get some sweet YouTube ad revenue from this fire video. Uh, hop in the chat uh, and let's say hi to everybody. We do the show absolutely 100% live four nights a week. And if you're just joining us for the very first time, oh my God, welcome. How are you? We're also going to be talking about the uh, hashtag Bell Let's Talk uh, mental awareness campaign that the, the big old Bell Canada does every year. Uh, I've got some opinions on that and I would like to hear yours. Namely one, do you think it's a good cause? Do you think it's just a corporate ad grab to make them seem like a nice caring company some of both i don't know it's hard to take myself seriously when i'm watching this poor girl almost drown uh <laughs> daniel's here uh velta good to see you uh fuck no i wouldn't help her she's fine and they're both laughing <laughs> Uh, Brian is here. Leanne Miller's here. It depends on which one of my friends were falling. We're talking about what see I know the audience of, of this show you guys are assholes. I know it. I know it. I know that this is our our number one rule this year on the show. But in my heart of hearts, I know that we're all assholes and we would watch our friend fall through the ice. I know that 100%. <laughs> Brian's laughing. Uh, Carly's here. Uh, and if you're just joining us for the first time, hit this video with a like and uh, subscribe to the show. We talk about everything. Um, we are going to get into uh, this in, in a hot second. This is the uh, Bell Let's Talk uh, campaign. If you're in Canada, it's huge. If you're in the U.S., you've probably seen your favorite. Oh, and right there. That's hilarious. That is the problem people have with it because the first page is let's talk and then they flip over to the cell phone advertisement. Okay. Caveat. <sighs> Bell. Just leave it up. Here, we'll go to this one. Okay, very good. Uh, I, I used to work for Bell. Uh, I've got a lot of friends and colleagues still working for, uh, for Bell Media. I enjoyed my time there uh, greatly. It was a great place to work. Um, and I am <clears throat> firmly on the side that this is a good campaign. So that's my opinion. We'll get into the news. We'll get into some stories that happen around this. Uh, but first, uh, hop in the chat and let me know what you think about that because it's very, very important. Uh, I need a drink of water. So what I'm going to do is just we're going to watch this girl uh, almost drown for another hot second. Hang on, guys, uh, because I just feel like... With all the shitty news in the world, this, this clip makes me feel great. <laughs> I'm fine! <laughs> like, she's not even close to helping her friend. She's like, yeah, you, you get your jeans wet, I don't give a fuck, you do everything. <laughs> Poor girl, help her! Help your friend! Bell, let's talk about water safety. I'm sorry. I can count on one hand the friends that I would drop my phone and save them. The rest, I would let them suffer. That's the kind of person I am. Because uh, I'm like you. I'm trying not to be an asshole. But it's not easy. Okay, so if you're just joining us, you're watching Darren Jones Live. This is a live comedy news talk show, four nights a week right here on YouTube, 10 Eastern, 7 Pacific. Let's talk about the whole Bell Let's Talk campaign. If you're in the States or somewhere around the globe, you may have seen this hashtag trending or your favorite celebrities talking about it, Bell Let's Talk. Basically, for one day, uh, Bell Canada, which is like the one, if, there are like two of these companies in Canada, cell phone, internet, TV, uh, content, blah, 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 blah. They say that if you uh, text uh, the hashtag Bell Let's Talk, uh, if you make a call, if you Twitter, basically if you're talking about it on social all day long, uh, five cents for every tweet, Instagram, blah, 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 will go to uh, uh, this cause. And what they're trying to do is raise awareness. Uh, they're also trying to uh, uh, take away the stigma of uh, mental health issues. Because you kids out there, you don't know about, there was a time when you wouldn't talk about your mental issues. It's not that long ago, but it wasn't just this thing that people would brag about or talk freely about all their or their problems that they have. You would bottle it up, you would push it all the way down, and then it would spew out in rage. It's much better now that you could talk about these things, and that it's okay to go to a, a therapist, and that it's okay to ask for help. 
Uh, because everybody, if they're not personally touched with uh, uh, mental health issues, uh, certainly they know somebody who has been, whether it's in their family, their friends, whatever. So, Bell has made this uh, day where they want to raise awareness. And you can get into the initiatives of, uh, of what they want to do. Uh, September 2010, Bell Talk began a new conversation about Canada's mental health. At that time, most people were not talking about mental illness. Absolutely true. But the numbers spoke volumes about the urgent need for action. Millions of Canadians, including leading personalities, blah, 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 blah. Uh, as a result, institutions and organizations, large and small in every region, blah, 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 blah. Currently, they've raised uh, almost 80 million and they're well on their way to donating 100 million through 2020. Now, some people uh, have a problem with this. Uh, some people believe that this campaign is nothing more than a goodwill project for Bell and Bell, because it's a media company, it's a TV phone company, so obviously not very well liked. Those companies are never well liked. Uh, and it's just a way to get people talking about Bell, uh, tweeting about Bell, uh, and also a way for you to think about Bell in a positive light. That might be true. That might be true. And it is true. But the way I see it, Bell is a giant corporation, a private corporation, a private business. Their only goal is to earn money. So, if in the process of making as much money as humanly possible for their shareholders, they throw their support behind an initiative that I think we all agree is pr very necessary and valid and something we should be talking about, I'm okay with that. I really am. I mean, I've read arguments and I've never read a convincing argument that tells me, ah, oh, it's a shitty thing and it's a cynical uh, ploy from Bell, by Bell, to just get people talking about it. Yes, that's probably true, but that's through a private company. They want to make money. That's fine. I'd rather them be talking about this than the new fucking Samsung Galaxy Note S7 11 coming out next week. This I care about. The phones I don't care about. So if they happen to get some corporate goodwill, some public goodwill, uh, get their name trending, get people thinking about Bell all day, I'm okay with that. Because if you've ever been touched by mental illness or have a friend or a family member who's been touched by a mental illness, you know that the hardest part of dealing with it is the first conversation, getting people to talk about it, getting the words out, making it feel like it's okay to talk about. And that's what this campaign does in my mind. It, it opens the door. I mean, you go on Twitter all day long. This was my uh, entry into the competition today. And yes, it is a competition. You want the retweets. You want to get those sweet uh, retweets for your self-esteem. I wrote, stop checking Twitter and Facebook all day long. It's bad for your health. Hashtag Bell Let's Talk. And a lot of people would can also say, we don't do enough for uh, our military, our veterans who are suffering. I agree. It's still not that easy to get mental health care. It's not necessarily covered by your health insurance, your provincial or your private plans in the U.S. I agree. The dr It's... The drugs are still not cheap enough. I agree. But the first step of mental health maintenance comes from you. You've got to be the one to be your own advocate right out of the gate. And if you start talking about it, then people will come and help you. 100% guarantee. So for my money, this Bell Let's Talk campaign, yes, it's a corporation. You could argue, yes, it's just an ad grab. Yes, they just want to get their name in the paper and people talk nice about Bell for once. Yes. But also, if it starts even one conversation from someone who's struggling, one moment where somebody reads a tweet from their favorite celebrity going, oh shit, that person also suffers from whatever. Huh, that's interesting. I gotta talk to my doctor about this. Oh, it's not such a big deal. That's interesting. The other thing, okay, so to finish that thought, if one person reaches out to a doctor, a friend, a whatever, reveals something about themselves that they've been holding in, that's good enough for me. Bell can make all the money and get all the goodwill they want. That's fine. And other people would say, why don't they just donate the money? Why do you have to retweet the tweet and get the tweets and the thing going on? Why can't they just give 100 million or 80 million, whatever it is? They could, but don't forget this awareness campaign and correct me if I'm wrong, get in the chat. Let me know if uh, you disagree or agree. Uh, but this awareness campaign is, is about that. It's about awareness. It's about reducing the stigma. So if you do feel like things are not working out in your head, you don't have to feel embarrassed, or you can know that it's more normal than you think. So that's what I think about that, uh, as far as that angle of it.
There's another element to this, and it has to do with really, really rich CEOs talking to other really rich CEOs and expanding their the way they think. I'm going to get to that in a second. I'm also going to get into a, a story that uh, it's not all roses for Bell today. Um, an ex-radio host uh, wrote an essay today uh, that blew up saying, I asked Bell for mental health leave. They fired me. Okay, so we're going to get into that article in a second. Um, but first, I want to check in with you guys. How are you tonight? How are you doing? I'm Darren Jones. You're watching Darren Jones Live. This is 100% live, four nights a week, 10 Eastern, 7 Pacific. And if you're watching on the repeat, hashtag Bell Let's Talk, and let me know, would you be the friend that would let your friend fall through the ice? Um, Carly is in the chat. Um, Velta, corporations should have to get attention by being good. That's a good thing. Push them to help other people. I completely agree. Uh, insanely Insane says, uh, it's a good thing to be... Uh, it's a good thing, but not a selfless thing they're doing. I don't disagree, and I don't think that's a bad thing. I'm okay with that. Okay, so you know that I've, I firmly believe that this campaign is a good thing for all the uh, crassness that you might believe in it. I think it's fine. I'm okay with that. It's a crass world. Advertising is everywhere. I'm okay with this kind of advertising. If, As I say, if it gets even one person opening up to a loved one about how they're struggling and gets them on the road to finding help, that works for me. And it is amazing when you go through the, uh, the uh, hashtag and you read all the stories of people saying what they, what they struggle with, how they struggled, how they were helped. It really does help to know that you're not alone. It really does. Uh, so kudos to that. Okay, so here's... Uh, <clears throat> it's not all uh, sunshine and uh, happiness for, uh, for Belle today. Maria McLean, uh, I think she's from New Brunswick, a small uh, town. She's uh, one of four people, works in radio, a Bell station. Uh, she says, uh, I asked Bell for mental health leave and they fired me. Uh-oh. But that goes against everything that they stand for. What's the story? Okay. So we don't know all the information. Um, we can obviously take this this uh, person, the broadcaster, at her word. Um, she says, quote, I, she wrote an essay explaining her situation and how it all went down for her. She says, I was fired. This is part of the uh, essay. I was fired an hour, excuse me, so the backstory is she was uh, struggling, she went to her doctor, good for her, she got a note from her doctor saying she needs two weeks off to sort some stuff out. Good, that's what you should be doing, that's great, that's what we all agree is the right move. That is what Bell is pushing. So she says, I was fired about an after... I was fired an hour after hand, handing in a doctor's note for 10 days off work. I was fired an hour after opening up about my struggles. It seemed I was fired because struggling with mental health was nothing more than a burden to my employer. That's a very, very serious charge and uh, very damning on the day that Bell is making great claims of, of their uh, awareness of mental health issues and their sympathies. Okay, so we don't know what happened, obviously, because he never do. This is a first person essay. So it's strictly from her point of view. So later on in the day, and this went everywhere, uh, later on in the day, uh, it was picked up by Huffington Post, it was picked up by CBC News, uh, and it's a serious charge. You know, uh, saying that the, this company that claims to care about mental health issues fired me because I'm, I was struggling with my health, I gave a doctor's note, and they fired me. That's what she says. Um, however, uh, sorry guys. I just want to make sure I got all the notes here. Okay, so McLean, which is the girl, uh, the, the broadcaster, says Tuesday that Bell Media did call her and sent her an email about 15 minutes after the company responded to CBC News. Okay, so on Wednesday, <coughs> uh, Garrow, who's a, a Bell spokesperson, reiterated a tweet from Bell Media that stated, Bell's a clear leader in workplace mental health. I don't think you can disagree. Their whole, their whole, bread, their whole charity work is based around this and is, of course, a fundamental part of our human resources approach. And while we would not normally comment on specific employee issues, I can confirm Bell does not dismiss employees because of mental health issues, in this case or any other. So Bell is basically saying, no, that's not what happened. Uh, she wasn't fired because of a mental health issue. Why? We don't know, because it's a private business, that's what they do. When people make such claims after the fact, we always reach out and offer counseling and other support, and we have done so here. So, we don't know all the information. It could be true, it could not be true, it could be uh, uh, parts of each story. We don't know. This uh, broadcaster wrote an essay claiming Bell fired her when she revealed her mental health issues and asked for time off. Bell is now saying we don't fire anybody for mental health issues because that's our thing uh, in this case or others. Uh, and also we reached out to her uh, after we read this article. Obviously, because it's bad press, it's bad. So we don't know what that story is. Uh, uh, we need to learn more about what actually happened. Uh, but it's uh, it's uh, it's not all roses for Bell today, that's for sure. Um, 
I want to know what you think about Bell and their mental health initiative. If you're just joining us, I'm Darren Jones. You're watching Darren Jones Live. You may have seen... <clears throat> Sorry, I got a... I got a... Pe is a peppercorn? Or a hair? I don't know what it is. Uh, you may have seen trending, uh, hashtag Bell Let's Talk. This is the day where if you tweet it or Instagram with that hashtag, uh, Bell Canada will donate five cents for every tweet to, uh, to, uh, Bell, to, excuse me, to mental health research initiatives, awareness, etc., etc. Okay, so, um... So Katrina says this story is terrible, see what I mean? It's all about the money. Um... Yeah, Daniel says, I wouldn't assume she's telling the truth, but if it is true, that's uh, messed up. Uh, Leanne says, we don't know the whole story, and we truly don't know the whole story of that. But I do want to know, what do you think? Are you okay with Bell and their uh, approach to uh, to this issue? Do you find it to be a corporate advertising PR move? Which it is. Are you okay with that? Do the ends justify the means, I guess is the question. And uh, I'll say it again, my, my belief is, and I, and I worked for Bell, I had a great time working for Bell, I got a lot of friends and colleagues who still work there. Uh, I, have, I, I enjoyed my time there. And I still fill in at News Talk 1010, occasionally uh, they are a Bell-owned station. Uh, <clears throat> I have, I think this is a fabulous, fabulous charity event that they do. Because don't forget, five years ago, this was not on anybody's radar, this was not a corporate, uh, thing. Uh, mental health was something that you kind of hid, and if you were really struggling, if it bubbled to the surface, then you had to go deal with it. The fact that Bell, a leading enormous company within Canada, is leading with this and saying it's an, a priority for us, the mental health uh, awareness campaign. And again, you could be a cynic and say, oh yeah, but then all the layoffs, they don't really give a shit about your uh, mental health there. Yeah, but they're also running a business, so I get that. I get, I get, I get why you'd feel cynical, but I think it's okay what they accomplish overrides that. I think you can look at Bell as two companies. You can look at them as the, they're making money, they're a corporation, corporations do nasty, dirty things. This is something that they do that's really good. I think it's okay to congratulate them when they do something because we're always so harsh and rightfully so on giant corporations when they shit the bed and do horrible things when they actually do something that has some value and opens up the discourse on an issue that again, you young people, you don't know, <clears throat> this was not an issue that everybody talked about five years ago. This was something that you hid, that you couldn't talk about. And now, and again, so a point that I was making earlier, you've got the CEO of Bell hanging out with his rich guy buddies. Now all of a sudden mental health is on their tongues. Now all of a sudden maybe they'll implement uh, a mental health initiative within their company or be sensitive to the needs of their workers who come to them with uh, 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 mental health uh, issues and uh, complaints. Any talk is good. And as I said before, uh, if even one person reads a hashtag tweet today and goes, fuck, you know, I'm having trouble. I need to reach out to somebody. I'm not alone in this. I'm okay with it, 100%. Um, ha ha, uh, oh, okay. It's definitely a PR move, but I'm fine uh, because even if they're making money, it's for a great cause. Uh, Miranda says that regarding that story of the broadcaster who claimed she was fired for her mental health issues, uh, the old saying goes, there are three sides to every story. There's side A, side B, and then there's the truth. So we don't know what's going on with that story. Um, <clears throat> and the people agreeing with that. Okay, I'd love to hear what you have to think, uh, say about all this. Uh, and if you are just joining us and you're like, hey, what happened to the girl who fell in the ice? Okay, I think this is a beautiful metaphor for... Uh, as <laughs> I'm going to make this so clumsy. Of... If you're struggling, ask for help. And in the old days, in the old days, when you asked for help, this is what you got. This is what you got. Help, I'm struggling. Can you help me? I need your help. In the old days, we would not put down the camera to help you. But now, through initiatives like this, uh, Bell Let's Talk, we now put down the camera and help you when you're asking for help. This is a beautiful metaphor. I put a really nice bow on this whole thing. <laughs> the other question is, which person are you in this video? Are you the person that falls in the ice, or are you the asshole who stands on the dock laughing at her friend that falls in the ice? I know who I am, for the record. <laughs> I know exactly. <laughs> and... See, at that point, I would put down the camera. If I see my friend slip under the dock, I put down the camera. <laughs> Maybe. 
What a, I, my favorite video of the week. Um, there's a Peppa Pig. Oh, fabulous. Very good. All right. Um, I'm so glad this video came out today because I'm tired. Speaking of mental health and the news wearing you down and you turn on Twitter, it's just like a disaster. Uh, and you saw my tweet. Um, you want to improve your mental health? Get off Facebook and get off Twitter, especially in these days where the news comes fast and furious and out of context and it's terrifying and every headline is horrible. Log off and go talk to people in real life. That is my, that is my, little, my little helper to you. Get off the Facebook and the Twitter. Just trust me, put it, don't check it all the time. Go walk around the block, get the news at the end of the day. Like the old days where you had to plug in the modem and then you'd go online, read the news, and then you have to unplug the modem. Do that. All of this shit coming at us all day long, that fucks with our mental health. I guarantee you it does. Um, okay, that said, there's all sorts of horrible stories that I didn't want to talk about today because uh, they're totally depressing. And uh, on a day where we're taking care of our mental health, I don't want to talk about stories like this. I don't want to talk about stories like this. <sighs> I mean, today's show is all about mental health, am I right? I don't want to talk about the defunding of the abortion. You know what I do want to talk about? I want to talk about this story was posted on my Facebook. And if you're wondering how this show is built and how we get our fabulous stories, this is a great example. Uh, I'll just go full right now. Uh, Facebook.com slash Darren Jones. That's where we build the show each and every day. We post our stories, our opinions, our videos, everything you want to talk about. <clears throat> that's where it goes. Then I go on Snapchat and I drop some awesome nudes, tasteful, always tasteful, uh, black and whites, uh, uh, I use all the filters, the dog filter. It's fabulous stuff. So go on there and uh, subscribe to my uh, channel right now because we do this show four nights a week, Monday through Thursday, 10 Eastern, 7 Pacific. And uh, welcome to all our brand new friends and subscribers over the last uh, couple of weeks. It's, it's amazing. And like this video as well. Okay, so I can't remember who posted this fabulous uh, story. It's not fabulous for the guy, but this is the most Canadian robbery story of all time. This couldn't be more Newfoundland. It's unbelievable. Pizza delivery driver's car stolen, returned <clears throat> with a full tank of gas and a used lotto ticket. God damn, could that be more Canadian? Is that, I mean, even the guy who got robbed is not even upset. He's like, yeah, I got my face in the paper. This is great. Okay, so this guy says that he drove his, he's a pizza guy. It's the middle of a snowstorm. I'm pretty sure it's, yeah, it's in St. John's, Newfoundland. Winter storm. He leaves the car running, goes into the building to deliver the pizza, comes out, the car's gone. What the fuck, bro? You stole my car. He sent out a tweet. I like that. <laughs> this is a great, you know the article's kind of bullshit when like this is one of their, one of their pictures, a picture of a pizza. He wrote, so my car just got stolen while out delivering pizza. Please share this. It had all my keys, my cell phone, and other belongings in it. Black 2008 uh, Saturn, blah, blah, blah. Uh, there were, this was my main form of income. Uh, if anyone needs to reach me, PM me, blah, blah, blah. <clears throat> Okay, the next day, the car is found in the exact same spot where it was left. His shit's stolen, yes. The transmission's fucked, yes. But the thieves return the car with a full tank of gas and a used lotto ticket. Why is the used lotto ticket important in this story? Because our boy here, the hero of this story, this guy right here, Josh Cook, he <clears throat> knows that you can trace where people buy lotto tickets, and he could put it together. The thieves got in the car, drove around, fucked his car up, stole his shit, filled the car up with gas, why, I'm not sure, got a lottery ticket, scratched it, did not win, left the ticket, left the car in the exact same spot. The question is, who stole this car? I mean, it has to be drunk teenagers, right? It has to be teenagers, right? It's a very odd car thief. So consider this a public service announcement. If you live in St. John's, Newfoundland, Canada, and you know anything about this story, get in touch with John Cook because he wants his phone back. So consider this uh, a helpful uh, uh, all call for John Cook who lost his phone, but sunny side up, got a full tank of gas. This is the great, one of the greatest, one of the great Canadian stories. Um, if you're just joining us, I'm Darren Jones. You're watching Darren Jones Live. We're uh, we're we're gonna hop in the chat here and uh, 
find out what people uh, uh, have to say about all this. And welcome, if it's the first time uh, visiting here, subscribe to my page. We do this show four nights a week, 10 Eastern, 7 Pacific on the old YouTube box, and like this video. Um, <clears throat> a lot of people in the chat, I notice, are talking about their experiences with uh, mental health issues and struggles that they have gone through or are currently going through. And again, if for no other reason, that is why the Bell Let's Talk campaign is a success. It gets people talking, it gets people unafraid to share their feelings and reach out if they're truly struggling and need help. So yes, it is a giant company getting good free PR, getting good goodwill, getting their name, but they are raising money and more importantly, more importantly for this issue, they are raising awareness around the stigma of mental health. Five years ago, we did not talk about this. Now it is no big thing to talk about uh, the issues you're going through. So uh, I, I applaud Bell, I really do. Uh, you may disagree with me and I'd love to hear uh, what you have to, uh, to say uh, in the chat. And if you're watching this on the replay, please let me know if you disagree or agree. This is always a conversation. Facebook.com is where we build the show. I hope you'll uh, follow me there. I hope you'll subscribe to this channel and sincerely, Hashtag Bell Let's Talk. If you are struggling, if you are not right, if you know something's not going on, reach out to a friend, a family member, a colleague, your boss, someone in your life. The first step you do that, you will get the help you need. You will be on the road to getting the help. The first step is you admitting it and stepping out and asking for help. Your, it's your mental health. You've got to be your own advocate, so do that. And if the hashtag Bell Let's Talk helps you get there, all the better. Okay, I will see you tomorrow night. Is it Wednesday? Tomorrow night, Thursday show, last show of the week. It'll be a banger and uh, we'll see you on the Facebook page and I'm gonna hop in the comments right now. Dudes, ladies, gents, have a good night, everybody. I hope you're well. I really do. Sincerely hope you're well. See you tomorrow, everyone.